When a person is diagnosed with cancer, it doesn't affect only that one person. There is often an entire family that experiences that cancer with them. And while there may be treatment for the cancer, often people are looking for a lot of additional support. And one place an increasing number of people are finding it is Gilda's Club here in Madison. Dave Huddleston is with us today. Dave, thanks so much for being here. We really appreciate it. Thank you. You've kind of been chosen as one of the spokespeople for the Gilda's run this year. You're pretty outspoken about your use of, of the club. First yeah. of all, th talk about your diagnosis and, and how you found Gilda's. Well, I mean, when, when I was diagnosed with leukemia, um, it really felt like our whole family took a sharp turn onto a dangerous mountain road. And, and, and even though it felt like every turn we took was dangerous and the view was still, it was just a... Uh, kind of scary? It was, it was scary. And, and so it was after about a year that we really realized that um, it would it would really help to have support. We started talking to friends and Gilda's Club was mentioned and uh, we went there for the first time in May and it's really changed our whole family's life. Oh, how? Would you explain? Well, you know, one of the biggest things is, is with our kids. Um, uh, checking in, you know, we thought we were p being a, um, pretty good about checking in with them and, and even then though we were finding that uh, uh, well, for example, when we went to the karate class at Gilda's the first time, my son said, uh, well, you know, it's really good that we can go to Gilda's and get this karate class. Who, who has cancer? And <laughs> my eight-year-old son, and we're like, your dad? <laughs> and, um, and it's, we just keep having to sort of circle back around uh, so again a, and again. Yeah. It's a resource for them that, you know, yeah, and for their own, you know, kid accessible stress management, like they recently did a thing with um, uh, no more monkeys jumping in my head, sort of taking a riff on that rhyme, mm -hmm. but making it accessible for when kids are having trouble falling asleep at night and, uh, and stuff, and it was, uh, it was very helpful for give my six-year-old daughter. Give them some tools to yeah. help them through yeah. this too. Um, are you gonna be out at the race? Yes, absolutely. Okay. It's coming up. I just want to get this mention in. Sunday, October 21st, it's a 5K run, walk, or a 10K run. Mm -hmm. uh, the sign up you can do day of, but they recommend, and we'll have a link for you on Newslinks at NBC15.com. Just look there. Uh, we'll have a link if you want to learn more about Gilda's or the race. Um, but it has just gotten exponentially bigger every year, and I know that so many of the families are really grateful for community sports. So, Dave, thanks so much again for coming in and finally Thank checking traffic and your forecast next.